How's it going YouTube? Belong PC Gamer here and today I kind of wanted to show you guys something that I, I started using when I first started out on YouTube um, for creating thumbnails. Now for those of you that don't have uh, Adobe or Vegas or any of those high expensive high quality programs this is a great alternative. Um, it's not the greatest uh, meaning that it's not going to give you that type of quality that uh, Vegas is going to provide but it'll get you pretty damn close. Now, what I do, or what I used to do, is I used to go to this website. It's www.6.flamingtext.com. You have to have that 6 in there before the dot. And it's going to bring you here. Now, from here, you're going to scroll down, and you're going to see all these page numbers here. And what you want to do is you want to find a text that's going to suit, uh, suit your thumbnail, the picture that you want the best. Uh, pick something that you like. And for instance, let's say you want to use, I had to find a good one here. Um, let's say you wanted to use this beauty one here. You, all you got to do is click on it. Now, these are some tips that I learned through my trials of, of making these, these text logos and everything. Um, best thing to do, because you can always resize later on, is change this font size here up to 199 you cannot go above that or else you have to start paying once you hit this premium here and then in this logo text box you just type in whatever you want like whatever you want and it's going to generate a preview here uh, make sure now this is very important that you keep the file format to PNG this is going to let you make a transparent um, text so keep that PNG, make font size 199, type in whatever you want here. Um, and it also gives you some options here. You can change the text color, any color of the rainbow that you choose. Just click and drag. Um, you can change the outline size, um, the pattern of the outline, the pattern of the text. It could be a pattern. And they give you a bunch of selections here. Um, like you get some cool ones in this extra tab here. Let's make it that. I'll, I'll just show you what this does. So it makes it all nice and cool for you. Uh, you can choose to have a shadow if you want to. Um, under background here, this is this is another important part. You want to have the type be transparent. You don't want a white box around it. You don't want uh, unless you do. You don't want any type of gradient uh, gradient behind the. Um, I'll show you what that does. If you choose to have the background a gradient, you can choose or a sunburst. You can have that too if that'll fit your your um, thumbnail properly but in my case almost always never does so keep it at transparent it'll just be the text then all you gotta do after that is hit this create logo button now what this is gonna do is it's gonna bring up another page and it's gonna have your full size text that you created yourself and all you have to do you don't have to download any applications you don't have to fill out any surveys you don't have to do anything but click on this file right here Click on your text. At the bottom, a, pay, a little tab will come up. Do you want to open or save this PNG file? You're going to want to save it or open it, whatever the case. But click this little drop-down arrow. Go to Save As. And then, and then choose where you want to save it. Hit Save. And you're done. Now let me show you something else here. I'm going to open up that folder where I just saved that to. And show you that this does actually work. See, here's your text. Now, what I what I would recommend doing is going onto Google and getting a nice uh, a nice background image. For instance, if you play Call of Duty Black Ops, you may let's find one here. Here's an old one of mine. You may find a nice nice picture of that where you can apply your text to. So if you want to do something like that, all you got to do is you know you want to open this up with Paint. So right click, go to Open with Paint. You don't want to preview it or anything. So there you go. This is a small picture. I don't know why it shows this one to, uh, to show you guys. Minimize this. Go back to where you saved your, um, your text. Open that with paint as well. Select all. Copy this. Go back to that uh, uh, picture, that Black Ops in this case and paste it and now it's gonna come up really big because this picture is really small so I'm just gonna resize this to 15 percent 
And then <clears throat> another important thing is see how there's a white box around it. Now this is where the PNG comes into effect. You're going to hit the drop down arrow here on select. Make sure you click transparent selection. And that's going to go away. The quality of this picture is going to be very low simply because the text was so big and the picture I chose was really, really small. So let me show you a better example. This is a bigger background image. I just want to show you that this works properly. This is my Tomb Raider background that I use for my thumbnails. Now I'm going to paste the same text here. Resize it just a bit because it's slightly too big for my, uh, my picture here. And make it transparent. You can move this wherever you want. You can add multiple texts to whatever picture you want to do and try to make it your own. Now I really hope this video helped you guys out in creating your own custom thumbnails for YouTube or whatever else you want to make. It's just a very cool website where you can get really cool texts and uh, it's just been amazing. Experiment around with it. Kind of use the tips that I showed you. Make sure it's a PNG. Make sure you make it as big as you possibly can unless you don't want to. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I have for you. If you liked the video, please hit the like button below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Stay up to date with my how-to videos, my gameplays, my live commentaries, and the gaming news series that I do every Sunday morning. So I'll catch you guys later.